welcome to another uh, Galaxy Garden update. I'm really happy to be speaking to you from in close proximity to a field of potatoes. They've finally all gone crazy. Um, of all the fortnights we've had in this garden so far, this one has been kind of explosive in, the t in terms of growth. Well, actually, it's not even been a fortnight. It's been three weeks, but everything has noticeably come up. Um, I've made a bit of a departure from my usual um, way of things. When I plant seeds, I usually keep them in the seed pots uh, until they're ready to go into the garden. But this time I have added an extra step and put in, I've potted them up into slightly bigger pots because I'm finding the slugs and snails absolutely destroying everything I put in here. Um, so I'm, I'm repeat planting quite a lot, especially lettuce and pak choy and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've been doing a heck of a lot of um, potting up this last three days. I knew it was a big job, so I've been doing it over the last three days rather than just leaving it till today to do it all. And uh, yeah, hold on and I'll take you around. Before we get really started on the veg, I thought I'd just have to show you these. And I can't remember the name of them, it's killing me. But they're amazing. They come up every year and they were a legacy from the previous owner. And they are quite something. Right outside our back door. Getting quite a lot of strawberries these days, when I can get them off the slugs. And there is a bit of infrastructure gone in this fortnight, I'll just pan back out a bit. I've put a trellis alongside this wall, sort of down the side of the potatoes, and put in cucumbers. So this half are my seedlings and they're looking pretty weary and I got given four seedlings from the community garden and they're looking pretty great and they're on this side. You can see now that potatoes are all held up um, and they're all growing pretty stupendously so I'm really hoping for a great potato harvest. The asparagus in the background there is going great as well not good enough to pick them yet unfortunately but they've had a bit of a hard time and hopefully next year we might get to uh, experience some of them on the plate. This little triangle bed is a prime example of what I'm talking about with the slugs and sort of poor performing plants. The pak choy has just bolted straight to seed and the kale that I put in, I've ended up putting some new silver beet seedlings in here and the kale I put in, which was a volunteer from somewhere else, has just I found about four slugs on it last night, so it's just getting ravaged. On a much more positive note, the um, potatoes in Mars are fantastic. Looking like a proper crop of potatoes. And the carrots in Jupiter are looking fantastic as well. And you've got the leeks in the foreground, and I put beetroot everywhere and on the other side is a row of beetroot and then in the background are the onions which some of them are coming up really well and others are struggling but they're still growing I put another trellis in here in Saturn and at the other end of there is six tomato seedlings and I know they're tiny seedlings but if um, if they don't survive, I've got loads in pots up at the top. So I thought I'd just give some a go here and see what happened. And the trellis is for those. And this end of the bed will be full of tomatoes eventually as well. But for now it's spinach. And the kale, like again, this, this kale that I put in a while ago is just getting hammered with slugs. My row of parsnips aren't doing too badly. And the peas are doing amazingly. There's peas all over them. So we've been picking them pretty much every day for a fortnight now. And wait until they get fat. These are um, telephone peas, so they're proper, like, pea peas, not snow peas or snap peas. And then finally, these two triangle beds at this end next to Neptune are um, they've also been getting hammered by slugs I've put some more seedlings in there from this community garden of lettuce and I put my own 
pat choy in. And if we go around here, these were getting hammered by the slugs. Again, these are the mystery ones from the community garden, which I think are possibly, they could actually be, um, I don't know, yeah, I don't know what they are. They could be um, turnips or something. And my red cabbage isn't doing too badly, actually, although it's still showing signs of slug damage. But I'm back out on the prowl. I give the slug patrol a rest for a while, but I'm, I went out last night and maybe put, pulled off 50. So uh, I need to get back onto it. And the rocket I put in here is going really great, but bolting to seed now. So we need to harvest as much as we can before it uh, gets too bitter. And then just on the other side of the peas, this is the corn I put in. I put in, the, um, I think it was a month ago now. And some of them have come up and some of them have not come up. There's another one here. And so when these get knee high, the peas will probably be ready to pull out and I'll be putting beans in their place. And the corn and the trellis will provide a great um, climbing frame for the beans to go up. I'm just in the process of transplanting some of these cucumbers into bigger pots. That is a surefire sign that they need to be, um, they're getting too big for this pot. So I'm putting them in this size pot to uh, help them get on a bit. I left the others, the, my fortnight ago was one's a bit too long and some of them died. So when they put out their second leaves, as I've said before, that's when they're starting to need alternative accommodation and food and um, in terms of the soil. And so whilst the roots are popping out the bottom, you might as well put them in a bigger pot. The um, kohlrabi are in the same boat, I think, and also this broccoli. And that's really just confirmation that it needs to go in a different pot. And one tip to um, to make the soil stick together a bit better, before you transplant anything, soak the tray through with water. It makes the, um, the plants come out of the pots a whole heap easier. And there you go. Maroa cucumbers, together with rows of beetroot, silver beet, leeks, lettuce, pink frilly lettuce and spinach. And this is the greenhouse. This is the tray I did three weeks ago. I took the um, cucumbers out and I was going to take the kohlrabi and broccoli out as well but it is, um, I'm running out of pots so I'm going to have to make some room before I do that. All the tomatoes have sprouted. I've potted up a lot of eggplant and capsicum so they can get a bit bigger before I put them in the garden. The tray of flowers is going quite well. Some of them are going really well. I need to. Res I don't know much about some of those flowers, so I have to um, go and do some research before I decide to either pot them up or put them straight in the garden. And then in the foreground here is this fortnight's um, new veggies. And so I've got a lot of um, sweet corn and butternut pumpkin seeds in there as well as the usual suspects. In the nursery, I'm running out of room. I've had to move a whole load of plants to uh, make way for all this potting up and stuff I've been doing. The herbs are going okay, but not spectacular. I'm just leaving it as it is for now. We'll see what happens. And the button up pumpkin in the background, some of them sprouted and they were doing fantastic. And occasionally you get one like this one at the back and the whole top of it has just been nibbled off by a, probably a snail. So I'm going to have to keep out for that. The turmeric hasn't come up yet. I've potted up a stack of tomatoes. And I did have a load of mulberry bush, mulberry tree cuttings in a pot. And I've managed to, I've never actually had this good a strike rate but out of 14 cuttings I've managed to get 13 that have leafed so um, I put them all in their own separate pot and hopefully 
can get some mulberry trees to either sell or give away. And then all the yellow pots and purple pots are tomatoes. So we've got stacks of them as well, apart from what's in the ground in the galaxy garden. And then the yakons all coming up as well. Something interesting in the wicking beds, I put these in um, three weeks ago, I think it was, or maybe five weeks ago, bush beans. And they all sprouted. They all did really well coming out the ground with the first leaves. And then something started, like this one in particular, something's really taking chunks out of it, like snails or slugs. And so that's, why, that's what's prompted me to get back on the slug hunt. But then in this bed where it's spring onions and either we can't work out whether they're leek or garlic and it might be both. Um, the beans are actually doing a whole lot better. Like they're a lot more free from pest attack. So there might be a, uh, a moral in there somewhere. I'm just planting my zucchinis and normally I try and shoehorn them in somewhere down there. But I've noticed this last couple of years that by doing that, they're sort of out of my way and I don't pay enough attention to them and we miss uh, produce and they grow all over the shop and it's annoying. So this year, I'm hoping you can see that it's a lot closer to the house. It's on my daily run past the veggie patch to the chickens. And I'm gonna plant them in a row down this bed. Previously in here I've had things like capsicums, I grow tomatoes up the trellis and beans um, But the capsicums and uh, what did I grow? Egyptian spinach and that was really limited success um, So I'm hoping the zucchinis might go all right here And I've just Just a few little tips. I've put the plants in On the garden bed before I plant them so I can see how far apart I want I want to space them there's only one drip line through this, so I'm planting them right next to the drip line. I've covered the bed in compost. Well, before the, in here, there was just a, a field of nasturtiums, so I've enriched my compost pile with those. And this one, I took out the pot just to show you that they're well and truly ready for getting in the ground. And yeah. Bob's your uncle, so I'll give them a good watering in in a minute, and that's all good. Yeah, you can see from this angle now it's starting to look a lot more like a veggie patch. Um, that's about it for this month, or this uh, fortnight even. I will um, catch you around soon. Thank you for watching.